hey guys <laughs> look how fancy so now we can watch so tony got even fancier this week and uh now my fun little display screen up here is his fifth monitor is that correct oh yeah. fourth i'm sorry fourth monitor not fifth yet we're not we're not there yet but in any case i get to watch your cool intro with you guys in that in that only on twitch i'm gonna do it on youtube oh well that's silly why don't everybody just go to twitch i don't even twitch so i guess i can't say anything <laughs> all righty well we are back today uh with some bells yeah yeah so we had a customer that reached out to us and requested a little tutorial on installing like the western style belt um specifically that that little tip on the end yeah. how to go about getting that on there but we'll kind of go over a couple of different options with you guys and we'll see if we can drag this out to an hour yeah the tip is the main thing yeah. that's that's what gives everybody the most problems. guys Denny Skive today. It's going to be a great day. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All righty. All right. First off, we have an inch and a half belt. You sure do. And an inch and a half buckle set. Okay. And I also have another inch and a half belt. This is just a blank belt, but I'm going to show you how I would go through it. Okay. And an inch and a half doubled belt a two ply belt i don't have it stitched because we haven't got everything done yet that's correct mm -hmm. and i'm not going to stitch it but we are going to do all the stuff leading up to that point then we have a inch and a half belt that's tapered to one inch and i also have just a one inch belt and uh, we're going to show you a few different things a few different problems that might arise i guess you might say when installing the, the yeah. tip. Yeah. All right. And this, this first one, this inch and a half belt, this finished belt right here, I already tried it. And everything works perfect on it. I don't have to do anything, but I'm going to show you basically what I'm talking about. This tip. Can, can we do the overhead? Sure. We sure can. Yeah. This tip fits on there perfectly. Look at that. Yeah. <clears throat> A lot of people right here on each edge, it, it's really tight. A lot of people might cut a notch out of there. Mm -hmm. I don't like to do that because I feel like later on, after a bunch of use, that little notch part's going to start to curl up and oh. look kind of wanky. Gotcha. So I just, I just like a nice snug fit, just like we've got right there. If you can see, everything looks good. But I'm not going to install that on this because I'm going to show you a few things on this other one. But uh, then we'll turn this around. And as far as the buckle and keeper, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, the, so if anybody's curious, we're using the Diablo um, Antique Nickel Buckle Set. It is a 378-760103. That's just what we're, that's what we're putting on. That's what we're doing. That's the specific buckle set that we are showing you right now. Okay. The only problem that might arise... When you put the buckle and keeper on, depending on the hardware that you use to either have your closure, and if I'm smart enough to get this through that hole, there we go. There we go. All right. The only problem that might arise is if when we, if this part of your belt is too thick. Mm -hmm. And if you use like a line 24 snap here, a lot of times that dome will interfere. Oh. It will make it too tight to go through here. Yeah. And I'm going to show you in a little bit how to alleviate that possibly. Gotcha. Gotcha. So if you haven't skived your turn back enough, this doesn't have any give on like a leather keeper, which you can kind of stretch out a little bit if you needed to, yeah. but yeah. that doesn't have any give. So I see what you're saying. If yeah. Too much bulk in between. And I'll tell you right now what I would do. I would just use this this part of the hardware on the top side also instead of the cap because that's pretty much flush with the top of the leather so you gain that much space there if you were real desperate yeah if you were real desperate okay now then let's go to what should we do first let's go to this this is a single ply belt this is a piece of heavy harness leather it sure is that's thick and i can tell you right now that it's going to be too thick for this tip. So we are starting out at a hefty 16 ounces. 
A hefty 16. A hefty 16 ounces, if anybody was curious. Okay. I'm going to cut to a tip end on this. And then we'll see what we've got. Was I about to bounce your coffee? Hello, off? I was worried. <laughs> okay. Now I've got this tip end cut off. Let's see what this looks like. Whoa. Mm, that's a great fit. It's a little too thick. It is a little too thick. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, set this poly board over here, and I'm going to I'm going to use this handy little skiving knife here. All I right. I think this is a Japanese skiving knife, if I'm not I mistaken. Think so. But I'm going to take a little bit off here on this. And try and make it about even all the way across. See what we've got. Okay, it fits on there pretty good. But it also, if you will look, I don't know if I can show you. We're a little bit too thick. We're a little bit wide right here on each side. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go over here to this handy sanding machine that we've got. I'm going to take my coffee far over here so that I don't have to drink leather yeah, dust. I don't know if you can see this or we not. We sure can. Look at that. Would you look at it? Would you look at it? Left off and back on. Uh, the oh, the twisties. Your, there it yeah, is. There you go. Now, now turn, turn your twisty off. Now turn your switch on. Now turn your twisty off. Cool. Is it plugged in? Did you unplug it? Uh, kind of. Wow. Now try. There it is. It's working. Oh, able to jump far we got it. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of this shoulder off on each side oh. and try and kind of ease the things up. Uh, And you can do this at home with just regular sandpaper, or if you've got a drum sander like this, it works really well. Let's see what we've got now. I'm about right, but I need to take a little more off thickness. We're getting a friction fit in here. Yeah, friction fit. <laughs> Good name. <laughs> You do want it to be pretty snug. You don't want it to be flopping right, around. Right. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. How does I that look so. like to you? That looks that looks like a great a great fit. Yeah. And the underside you'll always be able to see that little sky part, but to, you can dye it or just put a, a finish like token all or yeah. or gum trap. So before you before all. you start skiving you could kind of place the tip over the top like once you kind of get it to where and then you know try to skive as close as you can to where that's going to be but honestly nobody's really going to see that yeah. so to me you're better off kind of tapering it off like mm -hmm. that i think yeah yeah so that's and that's a nice that's a nice sturdy fit yeah. like it's what if are we looking that close to the back of my belt we might have other issues yeah exactly <laughs> all right you're man after my own heart there Oh my goodness, guys. Yesterday, Tony and I were headed over to our secondary warehouse building to pick out leather for our live show. And we, we drove by this uh, guy walking down the road that was like eating something and he just like threw trash onto the sidewalk. And Tony was like, if you weren't with me, Liz, I would have rolled down the window and told him to pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want him to open fire and Liz be caught in the crossfire. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be sad for me. But in any case, that was pretty funny. <laughs> That sounds like my wife. She would do it, and she wouldn't care if they opened fire on me. <laughs> She'd say they shouldn't have done that. No. That's well, terrible etiquette. Yeah. Ooh, now you're going to bevel it. Yeah, I'm going to bevel that edge and make it a little bit nicer yet. I'm not going to set this tip yet, though, because I'm going to use it on this other belt that I've got. When all is said and done, we will actually set the tip. That looks pretty darn good. That's a good fit right mm -hmm. there. Okay. So if you were going to set it, what would you do at this point? If I was going to set it, what I would do at this point, would be, I would bring it up really snug, 
I would get this little tool here, which is just a little uh, scratch all. There are two holes on the back of this tip, mm -hmm. but the only one that you're going to be using is the one up towards this end. Okay. Because I don't know if they're both threaded. Or, they are both threaded. But, but do you two. even have any leather in that first? No. No, there's there's no leather up in this hole, so there's yeah. nothing to pinch onto. But I'm going to take it and just make a little hole there. Because you would, you're going to be putting a set screw in there, mm -hmm. and it's got to go into the leather. If you don't have a little hole there, it's just going to mash against the leather, and pretty soon it's 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 liable to pull out. Yeah. But if you have that little hole, it'll actually go through the leather, and that'll hold. Screw it. itself in a little yeah. bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to this other little deal here. This is a two ply belt, also inch and a half. And it, I've got it all glued together other than this one little end. Because you've got to plan this stuff, you guys. If you're going to be using a, a, a tip and keeper on your belt, you've got, to, you've got to know if it's going to fit on there or not. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm going to do is cut this tip. Say I'm gonna cut it. He's gonna try. There we go. Alright. Now let's put this tip on there. And it's too thick. You can't see because of my big old hands. <laughs> but it's too thick to go on there. So instead of skiving the backside off, the reason I left this open is I'm gonna skive off. Yeah, because you still want your backs to be finished. Yeah, the like back if will be finished. If you've I taken do. all that time to make a two-ply. Yeah. You, and you, you can take a little bit off of each side if you want to, or you can do it all off of one side. It just depends on... Oh, I was going to... So this particular belt tip, and I feel like most of them are pretty similar, is about a 3 16th opening. So you want to get as close to that thickness as you can when building your belt. So just like whenever you're choosing your leathers, that's something to think about. Right. When you're choosing right. your thickness. Yeah, and if you're going to uh, split your split your uh, your belt thicknesses, you know, you, generally for a heavy work belt, I would use like a 7 to 8 ounce on the top mm -hmm. and a 3 to 4 or a 4 to 5 ounce on the bottom. You yeah. Know, that'll give you a nice, thick, heavy belt. You know, if I'm Using doing more of a dress type belt, I'll go a little bit lighter than that. Five six and a four five maybe. Yeah. You know. But okay, this uh I'm gonna go just a little bit more. I'm gonna take a little bit off the other side. You just gotta work with this until you get it about like you want it. That glue isn't helping your skiving cause of it. No. <laughs> you can still do it. And you can use any tool you want to to skive this with. You can use it like this Japanese skiving knife. You can use a round knife. You can use a safety beveler. Use a French edger. Pocket knife. Whatever. A pocket knife. <laughs> whatever. Get out your whittling stick. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you can get to work for you. Okay. That's going to go on there good. But I'm going to glue this together, and then I'm going to do the same thing on that sander. I'm going to take a little bit off of each edge. Okay. And ordinarily, I would uh, do this glue job before I put the rest of the belt together. Since I'm showing you guys on camera, I've already got that one part done. Well, so maybe while we're talking about it, if you are doing a lined belt, what is your, like, do you, do you start with the tip end and then size the other end when you're doing a lined belt? Or do you start with a turn back and... Well, when I'm doing... I guess you know the size that you're making usually, right? Yeah, you know, I mean, to, the size of a belt depends on, on the buckle that you're using and, and uh, 
everything, a lot of different factors like that. But to size a belt, I generally go from the very tip end, I go six and a half to seven inches, and that will be my center hole. Okay. And I generally put five holes in it, so I'll put two holes on each side of that measurement. From that center hole, if I'm wanting a 34-inch belt, I'll go from that center hole, 34 inches, and that's where I will put this slot. On the, the turn back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, on the turn back. Yeah. So that determines the, the size of the belt. Okay. I think that's probably sticky enough there. It's tacky enough. Tacky enough? Yes. Okay. If you want to be specific about terms. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to go to the sander. And I'm going to go back over here. Let's see here. Now, you aren't turning that up all the way either, are you? Uh, you can. It wasn't. Whee! I was making sure. Yeah. It doesn't matter when you're sanding. I'll tell you what, if you're using it to burnish, the other side to burnish with, you burnish on a lower speed than you want to sand on. This little machine works good for me. Probably why we carry it. You think? Yeah. Right. You guys see all the dust in the air. Yeah, this is this is why we don't <laughs> burnish yeah. in this room. Yeah, I'm gonna... Yes, I all I have always since I've been 16 years old and able to drive, I have had vision correction. I just don't typically wear my glasses. But when we went to Atlanta, I somehow became allergic to something down in Atlanta. And uh, my my right eye swole up uh, really bad. And ever since then, it's just sometimes in the morning when I wake up, I am like they just are still not 100% yet. So like... I don't know. I wore my contacts the last two days, but today I got up and I was like, oh, my eyes are just... Aren't you glad? Just going to put my glasses on. Dust in the air. Yeah. <laughs> and that's no fun with contacts, too. I'm always yeah. afraid I'm going to get it in my eyes. All right. Now, that fits nice and snug, but I'm going to show you guys another little trick here. Ooh, you've got if more tricks. If you're just mm. almost there, but still a little bit snug... Just flatten it out with a hammer. Well, yeah. Press it a little bit with a hammer. Make sure you got a nice smooth face so that if you hit it somewhere that you shouldn't, if you've got a nice clean, like it's yeah. not yeah. marring up your leather. Yeah. But there we go. We got a nice snug fit. Everything looks good on the edges. You know, of mm. course. Finish of course, your edges before you put the tip on. Right. Mm -hmm. And I would burnish the edges and everything before yeah. I put this tip on. The last thing that you do. The tip and the keeper are the very last things that you want to put on. But you also want to make sure they fit. <laughs> right. Before you get done. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we would do the same thing on the other end that I was talking about when we did that, this other finished belt. All right. Now what have we got? We've got... We've got our tapered belts. Yes, a tapered belt. And it works basically the same way. So you're not going to actually put that buckle on anything? Okay. Yeah. Let's do. Let's do. <laughs> Let's put it on. Let's put it on this inch and a half. I'm, I I I bet they really want to see you screw that tip on. Yeah, okay. I, I I have a feeling that that's what whoever it was that asked us to do this video is struggling with. It's okay. a little set screw. All right. I don't know that. For and whoever you are, up. I'm going to do this just for you and everyone else. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and all you other people out there. <laughs> if, you, if this is not for you, close your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you know when to open them. That's right. Okay, let me get all this sharp stuff out of my way here. And I didn't make this belt specifically for this buckle set. It just happens that it fits just perfect. It just worked. Yeah, that's just been hanging. At, yeah, at your actually, little... it's been hanging here. I saw it the other day, and I thought it was. It was all rolled up on the bottom yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I thought yeah. that's the one that I need to finish out all those carved rights for the. Yeah. Yeah, the car brakes. But I was wrong. Oh. It's not. <laughs> Shucks. It's close, but I, the other one I still got to make. All right. Now I'm up there good and snug. Now I'm going to take this little scratch all. Make that hole like I was telling you. 
I'm going to put it over here on this soft part and go all the way through the lender. Yeah, see, that tip doesn't go all the way to the end. So, yeah. I, I mean, so it does lengthen your belt slightly. Like, what do you think that the tip oh, is probably like right here? Half inch, maybe. Yeah. So, if you're worried about that, that's just kind of something to take into yeah. consideration, but it's not really going to affect it. Okay. And there's just these one little, little baby set screw. These little screws are hard to handle. That's probably why Denny didn't want to do this, but I'm over here making them. No. <laughs> and I've got a little tiny screwdriver. Isn't that just cute? It'd be hard to put a little glue in there, wouldn't it? Uh, you can put a, a drop of super glue or uh, or even the fingernail polish. Clear yeah. fingernail polish will work well. Maybe just, just some, on the back of the tip before you put it in? Yeah, just something to keep this screw from backing out later. Uh, or that. But since I've got that hole in there, I'm able to drive this screw all the way in. Drive it in there nice and snug. And it's in there. So this hole is just going to be empty, guys. That's It is threaded, but you don't have any leather there. There's nothing to catch, so it's really unimportant. Yeah. <laughs> this is now, the one that matters. Now, a lot of handmade, if you're sitting a handmade silver buckle, mm -hmm. a lot of these tips will have a tiny hole right here at, at this end that goes all the way through to the other side, and they'll give you a little... Sterling silver nail. Oh, and you peen it? Yeah, you. Well, you drive it all the way through and clip it off, and then yeah, kind of peen it yeah. over. Just bit. like a knife handle. Yeah, and that's the, you know I had never mm, uh, I had never set a, a buckle tip with screws until about ten years ago. So you started working all, here? Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe a little before then. No, a little before then, but uh, but still, most of your most of your buckles and tips came with it. With just a hole in okay, a, so a that's screw. that's good to know. So if yeah. you do have like a high end silver buckle set that you're working with, this is probably not how it's going to go through, and you're going to have to you make will, a hole all the way through, put that little piece of silver through, and then you'll have to peen the top and the bottom, yeah. just like you would a copper rivet. Same idea. Yeah, yeah. Only it's very, it the very delicate. The that uh, little nail is really soft. It's really easy to peen over like okay. that. You know. But you go about it the same way. Stick it, stick it on here good. Mm -hmm. Take your little deal. You'll be going from the top instead of the bottom. You yeah. Make your little hole in there. That's all there is to it. And there's that. I didn't know that. Yeah. I've never apparently bought a fancy enough buckle set. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's that. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Does it work? Let's see if it works. Works very well. And there it is. There's your three piece buckle set. Isn't that yeah. just nice? Yeah. And when you, uh, uh, you know, when I was saying you want to go uh, six and a half to seven inches from the end, when you buckle into that center hole, most of these tip and keeper sets will mm -hmm. work out just about right like that. Yep. You know, if you don't like a lot of the tip sticking out, you make it a little bit shorter, make it five and a half or six. Right. But, uh, that's something. That, else that you need to plan for you know <laughs> yeah especially if you're sewing it yeah. and if it's two ply like yeah. there's there's not a lot of take backsies with right. the two ply right. and the stitched situations that's right <laughs> that's right but you know if if you're putting a a tip and keeper set on a on an existing two ply belt that's already been stitched mm -hmm. sometimes you have to kind of cut into the stitches but don't go don't cut any more stitches out than is going to be covered by that buckle. Sure. Tip. And then maybe put some glue on those so right. it doesn't come out the rest of the way. Right. Right. Or pull them through to the bottom and uh, melt the ends of the thread. Yeah. You know. But this buckle set fits perfectly. Look again. at that. It's this one is super cute, guys. I really like this one. This is the simple buckle set, and it has a little bit of an Art Deco flair there going on with yeah. some Western engraving. Yeah, it's it's, it's real old timey looking, you know. I don't like it. Solid sterling engraved look. Yeah. To that buckle yeah. set, it looks rich. So this is a one inch. It is a three seven eight dash seven two two four zero two. If anybody's interested. And this one has two holes on the back. Nice. Ooh. Now, now when it has two holes like this, uh, 
horizontally, mm -hmm. you're going to have to use both holes. That's right. But we aren't going to set it on this belt because I'm going to do yet on this belt. I will in the end. But we're going to do the same thing we did on that inch and a half belt. Okay. So, let me get this over here and pound away till I get a tip on here. <laughs> see what we've got. That was easier than the other one. All right, now I'm too thick here. So what I'm going to do is kind a little bit. I'll use a round knife to skype this part. Just in case some of them, some of them want to do that. Can you see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. So somebody said that they would put the put another screw in that second hole anyways. If it's threaded then and, and one has been provided with the buckle set, then by all means, if, if you'd like to just put it in there, you can. Um, but do know that sometimes that second hole is not threaded. It's just there. And that's yeah. all going to depend on the buckle set that you've... I think that's some good information there right now, and then we'll get a call and be like, hey, my thing only yeah, was... came with one screw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, you know, when when there's a, two holes in it in a big buckle set like that, I will never use that second hole unless it's horizontal like, like right. these are. Right, right. Okay, that's going to work fine, so I'm going to glue this. Really good at keeping that off the camera. Well, thank you. I, I do my best. <laughs> you know, I just don't think about stuff like that. I just, I've been doing this for years now. You're but it's still just... starting in it. You should start getting used to it sometime. Well, I'm used to it. I just don't think about it. Just don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. Do you want to see it? You got to come in the studio. That's yeah, all that's right. You guys come visit and we'll really show you some stuff. Nothing you want to see, but we'll show it to you. Yeah, you're <laughs> going to find out. All right. You know what I used to do before I discovered a hairdryer? What was that? Did Use a lighter and light this stuff. It will burn all the liquid off. We, you know, you probably don't remember. You want to do that right now? You probably don't remember getting an inner tube fixed on a spare tire. No. Because mm -hmm. most tires are tubeless nowadays. Yeah. But it used to be, you go into a service station that would actually fix a tire for you. Ooh. And they, you could watch them, and they would sit there and take the tire off the rim and get the inner tube out of it and fill the inner tube up with the air and stick it in a tub of water and find out where all the bubbles were coming mm -hmm. out. <clears throat> then they'd let all the air back out, and they would take a drill with a uh, like a wire brush on it and and scrub that little spot where the hole is and get it all roughed up. And then they would take, it wasn't exactly the same contact cement, but they would contact cement the rubber patch and the inner tube. And then they would take a lighter or a match, whatever they had, and light that stuff. And I always thought, that is the coolest thing. Well, you're welcome. We've got a lighter. So I used to do that all the time. Yeah. We used to do it. With all right, guys. Watch bicycle tires. Patching bicycle tires. Let's see. Do it where we can see it on camera would be cool. Oh, I mean, <laughs> you we, think? We saw a little bit. But you don't want to just let it burn up, you know. No. <laughs> but uh, now it's dry enough and uh, tacky enough where I can stick this together. Plus, it's hot. That makes the glue adhere a little better, too. <laughs> but don't do this at home, folks. <laughs> We aren't condoning this. We're just showing you stuff. If you light yourself on fire. It's not yeah. our fault. It takes a whole new meaning to the dinner burn. <laughs> <laughs> also, just make sure you don't have any glue on your hands before you start this. That's wet. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want your fingerprints. Right. Okay. Now I've got the same. I've got the same problem here. I'm a little bit too wide. This belt tip uh, tapers off quite mm -hmm. a bit. So I'm going to go to the sander again. Liz, close your eyes. Put my mug over here.
ventilation. You guys need a better ventilation system in there. Travis said he literally just did that yesterday. He had a lot of fun on what, a tube. What lit lit the uh, lit tube patch? I'm assuming. Fire. All right. All right. All right. Now Stay I'm gonna. Over here. <laughs> you see that Facebook comment? Where Mm, it says new comments eleven. Sweet. So you need to scroll. On it doesn't it doesn't auto scroll like all the other ones. It does. I probably just have a, I need to go click a button on them. Okay. Let me get let me okay. scroll through three. Screens. There, there you go. Now we've got a nice fit on this again. Mm -hmm. cool. How would you set up your in class goals? What is the question? How would you mm. set the the ruling class buckles? So those are the the six piece buckle sets, I think. Oh, I mean the tip. Oh, you would have to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you would have to pay attention to your thickness because they're just a blunt end instead of a, a tapered pointed end. So you would have to pay attention to the thickness on on each end, and usually there's two screws on each section of those. So. Uh, but uh, it it would work the same way, basically. Liz is going to look it up. I'm just going to make sure that I have the right one in mind. Yeah, so it's just a little teeny tip. Oh, yeah. Well, the tip, you would have to do the same way. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you probably just cut a just kind of a rounded end on it, or or a blunt end. As yeah. As, so Denny is using um, an English point tip uh, end cutter for this, but depending on like the, the tip style, so the ruling class has a rounded tip. Yeah. So you probably want to use a rounded. A round end punch. A round end punch. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what one of the, do we have a picture of that? This. This. So this is the one that was in question. This style, and then. Um, you know, these also are housed in your leather, so you need to make sure that your leather thickness is correct to, to go into these center sections as well. And I believe that we've done a video on assembling one of these um, six-piece buckle sets. I think so. I, I remember think, doing no, one of them a while ago. No, we, we did that ostrich belt, but I don't think we did it had, a gator belt. We had question to do the gator belt, but I don't think we ever did one. Well, it, Didn't I do one with the... Like para raku or something like that. Yeah, you did one of those. One mm -hmm. of those. Did you? Yeah, and it was the section. Like that. I think yeah. so. It was, it was a while ago. So we have done a video. If you are working with one of those six piece buckle sets where you've got like the centers and then you have to like size it in the buckle set, though there should be instructions on sizing the belt and like cutting those sections. Yeah. But then Denny did do a video about doing one of those six piece yeah. sets a while ago. Yeah, as far as those go. Set your center sections, get those set, and then your two end, your buckle end and your uh, your billet end, you have to make those match, mm -hmm. you know. But your center sections can be whatever you decide to make them. Right. You know what I'm... Like wherever you want to place the bling on yes. around the yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that's that's the center part from, from the back to, to the sides. And then the two ends... Those are the ones you're going to have to pay attention to to make a match. Yeah. I think you're lying. No, <laughs> I remember. I did. It was the... I think it was We were doing the, the scrap, like using yeah, the scrap. Yeah, using the scrap bags. Uh, yeah, and I did one out of a python, I believe, mm -hmm. and one out of an ostrich. And then the pair of raku. And then the pair of raku. Yeah, yeah we're... We, we know what we're doing here. Yeah, and the pair of Raku is the one I did with that. Uh, I guarantee 16. you, I'm looking at all the videos that we've done with belts and the titles on YouTube. And there's crafting the overlay style belt, crafting a money belt. Was it the overlay? And then your DIY wide belt. And then the one that we're doing right now. Hmm. Well, that might did, be. Did you look um, using exotic remnants? Okay, let me type in exotic. Use, yeah. We have one video, and it's exotic inlays with Liz. Any other suggestions? Oh, hush, Anthony. <laughs> oh, my God. I promise you we have it. We did it. No. Well, we might, we might not have put it on video, but I remember building the belt. 
I we have. Oh, maybe we just use the belt and. You remember we have that black gator belt that was the gold ones that we made it out of, but we didn't do a video on it. We just made the belt. We're just gonna. We'll talk about that later. Sorry for the side conversation. <laughs> Hey, look, I got a new video idea that we can do. Yeah, at some point in the future. <laughs> Molly said she saw it. We aren't lying. Thank you, Molly. Molly's a liar. No, Molly, we did it. Molly, we did this. I know that us, we did Molly. it. What did we call it? Anyways, we'll, we'll, just, we'll figure that out amongst ourselves. I'm pretty sure, sure it was a pair of Raku belt, though. Yeah. I did there was that. a pair of Raku. There was a snake one. And then, I Tony, look at the one that you did the overlay with the ostrich, because I feel like maybe it's in that one. Okay. I do. I do think so. I think it's, I think all, I think we did all three of those because all of them were overlays. And then you just did the different types of, anyways, Molly knows. Molly knows. Molly, you're my best friend right now. (laughs) I think you're both lying. Oh, not a stinking Josh. It was the Osher. We did the Osher's belt. That was the overlay. And that was because we built it off of Donnie's belt that he had. And that whole video is the overlay. Yeah, but and then Denny, I, Kevin came in. Denny and I can't hey, be. Hey guys. Alrighty. So okay. So what are we doing now? We'll just we're gonna. Okay. It's a, it's a long okay. tangent. <laughs> We've got this where it fits. So now, let's take since it's got two holes in it. First, I'll set the buckle and or the buckle and keeper. Yeah, guys, be careful. If you do buy a three-piece or a six-piece or how many ever buckle sets, sometimes you will have the little screws in an extra bag separated, but sometimes they're just in the bag. So just remember that you bought a buckle set that should contain some amount of microscopic screws. Yeah, the screws are small, you guys. Yeah, and so don't, like, just throw the bag away or be careless about it or just dump it out into your carpet or, I don't know, wherever it is that you craft. Just, if you, you know, dump think it about out that. on my floor, you will never see it again. Exactly. My dogs will eat it. <laughs> All right. Tip and keeper, or the buckle and keeper fit nicely. So let's put this tip on. I love this buckle set. Yeah, actually, that's making me want, we have that new um, die set to make the one-inch women's belts, and I want to put one of those on there now. Yeah. Ladies, we are now going to be making some women's belts, mostly for... For the time being, they're probably just going to be on retail, but I am working to get some to where we'll put them online, but we're going to start doing some one-inch ladies' belts with a center bar buckle. I thought you were going to say they're specifically for ladies. They are. Because I just got... I've Every time I make a belt here and I go, like, I just use our dies and I click out the turn back and the tip, but everything is so spaced out, and especially, like, with the high-waisted... Um, like pant style, I don't I don't have room for like when you look at this, this is never gonna fit in any of my belt loops. Yeah. Number one, and that's gonna take up most of like the front of my waist. And it's just it's gonna it's gonna be really awkward. And so we did one where it's it's meant to be used with a center bar buckle. It's only one inch wide and then you have a much smaller section of like hardware in the middle. Cause everything is a little bit more compact. And especially Anyways, I'm very excited about them. So if you're here in the area, we're going to be working on some of them in the next few weeks and have them out on retail. And you guys can come look at my awesome ladies' belts. Molly said you can send your love to the gold you've taken in her box. I know. Box. Molly, Tony put those in the boxes yesterday, and I don't know which one it's in, but I wish you the best of luck to get it. Do we know where to get extra screws at if we ruin one or lose it or falls out? Um... Does a hardware store sell set screws? Uh, they sell set screws. Whether they've got any of that size or not, I don't know. Usually, we if use... you give us a call, we can send you, if you'll tell us what buckle set it is that you purchased, um, we usually have some extra screws. So if you are missing one or if something happened and you need an extra couple, you can let us. I think we charge like 30 cents a piece or something yeah. like really small just to do the order. It but... says Amazon has an assortment of screws. Okay. It's not. It's never a bad thing to have extra screws. So. Yeah. yeah. Now this one has a slotted screw instead of a plain Phillips head. They like to mess with me like this. Yeah. Why can't they all just be the same? 
Yeah. Okay. We don't standardize things. We like to confuse people. That's our job. We didn't do that. <laughs> our vendors did that. Hey, Ed. Uh, I'll let that while Jenny's screwing them back. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> no. Who did that? Chevy. Chevy. You're welcome. Oh, it lights up. How do you like that? <laughs> oh, that's I funny. Remember, I don't remember where I got this, but it's a cute little screwdriver set. Adorable. It knows that you're. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see, every time I push this button, it turns it on or off. <laughs> Here you go, Liz. Right. There we go. There's a buckle tip. pretty nicely. There again, buckle it in the third hole. There we have it. There you are. I do really like that That's buckle set. That's a good set. It is a good set. I and I do if... really prefer, I mean, like, I mean, obviously it depends on, on your taste, but like when you do the tapered, mm -hmm. it really just, it, you know, it makes that a lot more reasonable. Makes, like this is huge. Make this stand out. It gives the buckle, gives the buckle be on the mm -hmm. star of the show. And you know, Friday, we're going to be doing a, a ranger style. Belt. That Wyoming ranger. Yeah. I tried to call it the Montana ranger and, earlier. but that, And that one of the right. reasons that, to. Uh, People used to like that Ranger belt was because the buckle size was a bit smaller than hmm. than uh, that big. The inch and a half buckle, I mean, as opposed to a trophy buckle, this is smaller. Right. But it's still a big buckle. It is still a big buckle. You know, and the Ranger buckle, you can use, you can use either a three quarter or a one inch mm -hmm. taper to that. We're going to do a one inch, I think, on Friday. All right. But but it'll give you the same effect, only the whole belt will be inch and a half. It will have that look with the one inch buckle in front of it, which Oh, looks, looks I know what good. we're doing now. We've done a couple of there's this guy that comes in like every couple of years and we make him that style belt where the, the belt comes yeah. it crosses over yes. and then you've got your billets on top. Right. And you put everything mm -hmm. Right. But this this won't have any exterior billets, everything. The Wyoming Ranger style is a bit different. It's going to be a surprise, you guys. And he said he's not even going to do anything beforehand. So you yeah, guys are going to see the whole it. process. We're going to do it all right here on live <laughs> television. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Let's see here. And <laughs> Denise just going to play with his light well, screwdriver now. Turned off. I burned my little battery out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is there any other questions or any other tips that you want to? Denise, did you bring in your drink with you? My what? Your coffee? Did you bring your coffee in with you? Yes, I did. You better have a drink of it. Okay, I will. Why? Ooh, what? Denny drinks coffee. What do you do? It doesn't have to be a close up. Just want to make sure that we're hydrated. It oh, is okay. warm out there, y'all. Yes, let me have a drink here. Well, this one's a cute yeah. set, too. I think it was supposed to be 93 again today. Yep. That's we're right. supposed to be 90 for the next week and no rain in sight. <sighs> Man, we got real creative with the name on this one and we just call it Buckle Three Piece. <laughs> That's, uh, it's quite original. You know, I don't know if we, if we still have any of these in stock. I happen to have two of them in my possession there. Yeah. Yeah, for um after COVID hit, there was there was um one of our vendors that just literally could not keep up with the orders and we got a lot of our three-piece buckle sets from them. And so there's been a little bit of um some issues. Yeah. Hope hopefully we'll get these back. I don't know. There's there's several buckles that we, we haven't been able to get for a while. That, I guess Tony could look it up if he wanted yeah. to see. But uh, what, anyways, uh, what else 
Oh. Did the 16 ounce skirting belt get skyrocketed? I was going to show you guys that, but I oh. forgot. To 11 and a half ounces. What was the number on that? So maybe like a 10. So 10, 9 and a half, 10 at the tip. And then where he skived up here is still about 13. What was the number on that belt? Which one? The, the, the buckle set? Yeah, the gold. This one? one? Yeah, right. So it is the 378-722402. 722-402. Yes, sir. Simple. Simple one inch. Are you waiting with bated breath? Yes, my breath is bated. Uh, we currently have zero on hand. Mm. If you look up in the purchasing information, is there any we information? We have 32 that are on order. You wait just one moment, I'll tell you when they were ordered. Mmm, mm, that doesn't sound like a <laughs> happy mmm. <laughs> I'd love to see you guys do a cartridge belt. Oh, like, like loops? Yeah, that could be sometime in the future, too. Future when you're no longer here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Clayton's not here. Clayton Clayton was really good at bullet loop belts. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He did a pretty good Maybe job we'll on this. We'll have to have him back for a guest appearance. <gasps> Special yeah. guest appearance. We could do that. I would love that. Uh, looks like oh, we ordered a hundred of them in 2021. So I'm going to say that that's one of the buckles that um, we've been having issues with. So I hope you like looking at it because you can't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little sassy. No. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's, I, and I've been meaning to talk to someone about it. There are several things that we haven't been able to get lately from the vendors we used to get them from. Mm -hmm. And I know if we buy them from other vendors, they're probably going to be more expensive. But some people might want some of those and be willing to pay what it, the yeah. extra that it costs us. Now, I think know. Jen keeps asking me to look at some different sites for some yeah. things, but I have been putting it off, so maybe I should make that a priority. All righty. Well, is there anything else? You brought all those pliers and you didn't even use them. Oh, well, I was going to punch holes in all these belts, but I'm not going to. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, but now I'm not. Well, we pretty much took up most of it now. Yeah. yeah, we did. I'm well. impressed. I mean, we did argue about whether or not we did a video for like a good 10 minutes. But <laughs> <laughs> well, let's argue about that a little more because I still uh, think we did. <laughs> no, we probably didn't do that on the video. I don't know whatever happened to that belt. Did we give them away? You did it with Paracoo? Uh-huh. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they're on the I, top of your... I swear I, I made the belt. Don't swear. No, or I... Or camera live. I know that we did it. I remember these belts. And Molly remembers them. We did it. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. See, even Luna doesn't think we did it. She's yelling at you about it. I know. I just kicked her in the face, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, no, we totally, we did them, but I don't, I know that you made them, but I think maybe you made them when we were selling the exotic pack. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the reason. Was it the fish I and feather it. exotic pack? Like when they were working on it, cause that would have been your ostrich. And then. There was an ostrich, and python, and the paracou. We those did some sort of an exotic pack different. and I know we did those belts so you could see what to do with them. Yeah. I know that that happened. What's the buckle with? What do Which? You mean? Yes. Which? I mean, just do like the measure. overall width? Yeah, just measure it. Um, gonna, it's one measure. inch. One inch. Yeah, so when we sell them, you're selling it for the strip that you're going to put it on. Right. So, like, this has a one inch butt. So, this overall width here for this buckle that you're not, you can't buy, is <laughs> just over two inches. It's like two and an eighth at your widest point. Oh, I see. What so, I and then this one, if we were to measure once again, this is an inch and a half buckle because that's the size of strip that it will fit. But your overall width is two and three quarters wide. I don't know if that's what you wanted, but that's what you got. What buckle? Exactly, Dean. 
exactly. There's no buckle. Mm -hmm. Guess that is not a thing. I, I'm talking. Okay. All right. I think we've covered it all. I mean, that's we've, we've that's it. <gasps> Look at that cute little thing. Somebody just subscribed. Tangled something or other. Thanks for subscribing. However you say that for the Twitchers. <laughs> that's my idea. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I guess I could go back to the main game. How about adding a Sam Brown on a centering for a big buckle? A Sam Brown buckle. Okay. Sam Brown buckle is a different animal. That could be a fun belt to do. Yeah. That's. It used to be like law enforcement. I think that's really the yeah. only place I still see yeah. them. <laughs> Every once in a while, somebody will yeah. come in and they've got, you know, their yeah, their big their thing. Duty that's got belt a, on, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the duty belt. Yeah. <laughs> duty belt. <laughs> and it's got a Sam Brown buckle on it. Yeah. Well, I think we stressed it to about an hour. Denny, yeah. will you see if you have an image for the Carbright Iris and Primrose? Oh, yeah, I have to talk about something down for Joshua. Okay. Joshua, we've got you later. Heavy duty belt. I'll reply back to that because you know. Alrighty, folks. Well, that was a lot of fun. Hope you had a good time. <laughs> we are now going to spend an exorbitant amount of time looking for footage for our buckle sets that Denny and I know that we've done. Oh. It's somewhere. You know, I, I but have I to, think I feel I like maybe to, you made those at your desk. I have to qualify this. I know. We made the belt. I don't. But I don't know if we did anything on video with it. I think it was just to advertise that yeah. exotic pack. Kevin's new exotic pack that we did last year. I do too. That's what I think. But there are instructions in those packets. And if you need any further assistance, give us a call and you can talk to this guy. Yeah. He's got a phone at his desk now. <laughs> That's a lot. You're welcome. He still won't answer the email. He has an email, but I don't think he looks at it ever. Well, where am I going to look at it? I don't, on, on the phone that you don't look at. <laughs> okay. I sent him a text message last night to let him know that I had... I got it this morning. <laughs> exactly. To let him know that I was using his space over there and that he would come into a bit of a mess because I left it a bit of a mess. But, you know, just like a nice, like, hey, that was me. Sorry. <laughs> but he never responded. He'll look at them. He'll And he'll be like, yeah, I read that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you didn't say answer me back. <laughs> Over. <laughs> Over. Please respond. Yeah, Over. Four. <laughs> In any case, we'll see you guys tomorrow for live shopping. If you join us there on Facebook at 2 p.m. Central Time for another round of shenanigans with Tony and Liz, because that's that's really just what it is. It's like an it's almost a two hour shenanigan show at this point. It's no <laughs> longer just an hour. An hour and a half. On average. Well, we might have something special. All right. And then we'll be back on Friday with the Wyoming Ranger. Ranger. The Wyoming Ranger. Bye, guys.